So as you look here quickly, you're going to see the quarterback's footworks for inside zone. I just want to show you the differences and the similarities. On inside zone, quarterback's going to step and clear for our one back. Our one back is going to come across the midline. Okay, I hope you guys get, get a chance to see that there. Again, quarterback is going to step and clear. Superback's going to come across the midline. If the quarterback pulls, he's here. One back is, it can hit A gap to A gap in here. Okay. In other direction, quarterback, step, clear, get out of the way. Let, let him get across. We've got to give, we've got to clear the midline in order for our superback to get across the green. So, so you get a chance to see the inside zone steps. Now we get to really get a chance to see the veer steps. Our veer, I'm a firm believer in the fact that veer needs to be a downhill run. In order for veer to be a downhill run and to still be a pistol team, we have got to take our quarterback from point A to point B inside, inside of this run game. So, with, so his steps, rather than stepping and clearing, we have our quarterback step at a 45 degree angle straight downhill. So we want to get this thing tight and get him stepping down so that we get a chance to close the gap from here to here. As he walks through, he, uh, you can kind of see that the, the ground that he gains, rather than just spinning in place or clearing for the super back, we now have a quarterback gaining ground and a super back gaining ground. Our super back is going to step with his play side foot and aiming right for the inside hip of the guard. We want to keep this thing tight in there so now he can bend it in the crease and run that ball. So you get a chance to see him walk through it. You can see that the ground that is made as, it, as they go full speed here. Everything's just happening. It's a smooth, float, fluid deal there. Quarterback steps, shifts his weight, and then is able to come out. You also can see that if the football is here, he's four and a half behind it, and we've got O-line and some O-linemen butts, we are not too far off. Um, and, from, and from my calculations and from, and from running veer under center in the past and now going to pistol, we end up about half a yard deeper than we would if we were an under center football team. I think that's pretty good. Sometimes it's, it's even less than that, but uh, usually no deeper than half a yard uh, deeper than we would if we were under center.